And now to a story making national headlines. The death of George Floyd, pinned to the ground by an officer with the officer's knee and held there for minutes this on end. He later died at the hospital. This is reality. Open your eyes and see the truth. Police brutality, a case of power abuse. I saw the footage and seen what a coward would do. If he was scared, the man down had more power than you. There's no unity. Communities are being destroyed. We need to stop and write a eulogy to free Mr. Floyd. It needs to be voiced. It wasn't a choice how we were born and now because the way we look, we live divided and torn. We need guidance. Most of us are being blinded by hate. I blame Trump, the man who want to make America great again. But send troops to shoot protesters, protect and serve, but they handle at their own measures. We got riots breaking out in all states. We're not being quiet. Here's a bit of how it takes to have weight being pressed on your neck and can't plead. We're not going to stop until you say I can't breathe. Witnesses recorded video of what happened, even begged the officer to remove his knee from Floyd's neck. In the video, Floyd is heard gasping, says he can't breathe several times. Floyd's death led to large protests with hundreds of people packing the streets of Minneapolis calling for justice. Let me make a statement. There's no debate in who's the enemy, the ones in higher places, not the people with the felony, the ones who laid the pavement for the nation to drive, but made cracks in the road because they drove before it dried. I decided I would speak for the people. We went about this long enough, the time to be peaceful is over. So now you giving us the cold shoulder. You don't agree with our reaction, so you go and try to throw soldiers. Kids are being killed, what the fuck is happening? I know we fight, but this is worse than I imagined it. Fires lighting up the skies in Manhattan. It's sad to watch the world fall apart due to havoc. Let's take this tragedy and make an opportunity to reassemble what we have, the proper unity. We need to stand and make them listen to the noise they created when they didn't hear Mr. Floyd's voice.